The Hermitage Wellness and Spa Hotel is a five-star hotel that really leaves nothing to be desired. Despite the five stars, the hotel feels very familiar and the best thing about it is, dogs are very welcome here. Okay, let's go! Go, Shine! Wow, it's bigger than our flat. Crazy. Huh? Oh, Rasta, das ist denn schön. Huh? His new friend. Was machst du jetzt mit dem? Take it, nimmst du ihn. <laughs> Rasta already feels like home. Ah, this is the bathroom. Oh, look, it's a schöne Badwanne. Huh? Badwanne. Super schön. And, yeah, shower. Nice. What about the view? We expected some snow, but snow is coming later. Huh? Yeah, that's nice. All of mountains over there. Oh, schön. Ah, can you see the pool over there? Yeah, we'll check it out later. Schön. Huh? Ah, look, a present for you, Rasta. Bon appétit. Hmm? Chouette. After checking into our comfortable and big room, we were taking on a hotel tour by the hotel management. The Swarovski bar in particular is really impressive, but the other rooms are also furnished with great attention to detail. There are various restaurants that are individually furnished, a play corner for young and old, and a board where you can see the development of the hotel. Beginning in 1955. Rasta would hate it. It's an extra shower for the dogs. <laughs> Super cool. They have their own ladderly with uh, flowers. Crazy, right? Well, until now, I could say this is a very, very dog-friendly hotel. And they are very, very... Hey, hello. Friendly? <laughs> yeah, and Rasta is happy too, as you can clearly hear it. Yeah, no, it's, it's really, really a cool hotel. Um, and now we are on a little stroll. <laughs> yeah, Rasta part now. Huh? This is your part and the wellness part is ours later. Gal? <laughs> yeah, they have a big uh, wellness oase. Yeah, with pool and sauna and... Yeah, tomorrow I get a massage. <laughs> yeah, it's cool, other. And now look back, snow is coming. Yeah, some information about this place. It is called Schönriet and it belongs to the touristic area of Gstaad. Yeah, Gstaad is the village for the celebrities and beauties and influencers. <laughs> yeah, but I think it's beautiful here. Huh? And it is uh, much uh, more familiar. Yeah, I like that. This train could need some colors. Huh? Yeah, it would be more beautiful. Yeah, this area is full with chalets everywhere. Huh? Oh, imagine all these chalets with uh, the flowers on the balconies. Huh? Yeah, in spring and summer. After our walk, I indulged in my old passion of billiard and then it was time for some wellness feeling. As expected, we have snowfall. Super. Yeah, wait for tomorrow. While it was already snowing heavily outside, I had a bath which even had bubbles. Afterwards, we went to the spa area of the hotel. A huge pool and salt water bath are available to the hotel guests. Of course, there are also saunas and relaxation rooms to relax from everyday life. And then it's time for dinner. 
I'm trying losing weight and had to be pretty careful not to go overboard here. Yeah, this is our table. There are just so many good things here to eat. The next morning was a big surprise. The spring-like landscape had turned into a winter landscape. I admit, I ordered it that way, but I didn't expect the delivery to be so punctual. Time for breakfast. And again, there is just so much choice. Fresh bread in all variations, cereal and various types of milk, something hearty from the kitchen, salmon and cheese, fresh beer muesli, fruits, and what I always find particularly cool, an orange juice machine. The Daily Post is waiting for us on the breakfast table giving us today's program and tips for excursions. We already decided last night in favor of a visit to Lake Laune. And so we set off by car through the freshly snow-covered landscape. The roads were already well cleared, but I had a hunch. The closer we got to Lake Laune, the more wintry the road conditions became. And then it ended at this side spot. We wanted to drive to Lohnesee, but yeah, until April, it's not allowed. So we hiked the rest. Go Rasta. Hey Rasta, happy. <laughs> Unexpected winter wonderland, huh? 10 centimeters. Huh? Fresh new snow. We hike now a little bit and we hopefully get into the lake <laughs> in about 45 minutes. What a winter flash in March. Well, it is not unusual that it snows in March. It could snow in uh, July or August, but of course in the higher altitudes. Yeah, snow again. Winter Wonderland. Yeah, I wished spring. But now, when I'm back in winter, I'm totally happy with it. <laughs> yeah. Well, this kind of winter with so much snow and white colored trees. The lake must be behind this hill somewhere, somehow. In summer, there is a bus running to Laonese. Yeah, but it's not running now. Nothing is running now. Rasta. This is how you look after a tree avalanche. <laughs> we are still on the search to uh, Lake Lohner. 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 <laughs> yeah, this lake has different names. 
Yeah, there is a restaurant here, but it's closed. Oh, look again, Avalanche. Ooh. This is now Low Sea. But as you can clearly see, there is still snow and ice on the lake, so there is no lake to watch. So yeah, that was the visit to Lowenese. I just met a person and she is living here the whole year long. And she asked me because she, she knew Rasta, she recognized Rasta, um, uh, if we will come to her house in spring or summer. And I said, no, no of course I said yes. And maybe, yeah, this will happen this summer. I'm very, very looking forward. You know, it is late winter when you hear the birds singing. After Winter Wonderland, it's time for a massage. After our winter excursion, it was time for a massage. Rasta got it from me and I got a professional massage. It had been years since my last massage, so I was really looking forward to this pampering break. My massage is called Alpine Well Vital Massage and it starts with a foot bath huh? and then to get to choose your lotion Arnica, St. John's Wort or a lotion with Marmot Oil. Vital darf man aus einer folgender Lotion auswählen. Wir haben hier Arnica, Johannes Kraut oder eine Lotion mit Murmeltieröl. Sie dürfen erstmal ins Fußbad kurz Platz nehmen. Ja. Yeah. But first my feet get to chill out a bit. Die sind gefüllt ähnlich wie so ein Teebeutel, muss man sich vorstellen, mit allerhand Kräutern. These stems are filled with lots of herbs, are heated with steam become saturated and then the lotion is better applied under the skin with these stamps. Afterwards, the nice masseur explained to me what is done in this beautiful room. This is an oriental cleaning ritual. The guests are brought in here with a bowl of scrub and various muds. Then there is a program with rain and light effects. Man sitzt praktisch dort so drin. Am Ende duscht man das dann runter. Das ist dann, total gut. Ja, da liegt jetzt äh, Pfefferminz auf. Mm -hmm. Und wenn man dann rauskommt... And when you come out, you take a pot of tea and chill out in this desert oasis, which is filled with real sand. Die Wüste hier in den Bergen, da holt man dann noch nach. After the massage, I treated myself to a colorful shower and then it was time to eat again. After massage is before cake. <laughs> so nobody will starve here. Rasta also had a great rest here and the day of departure has already arrived. It is our last day yeah, at the Venice Hotel Ermitage in Stadt. Yeah, and we can see the mountains. Look. Yeah, we had really a good time here. Yeah, with a lot of food <laughs> and a lot of uh, wellness moments. And of course, a lot of hiking moments. And we do one again today. Yeah, I took start. Yes. And because the weather was so nice, I flew a short round to show you Schönried from above. And then we set off on our hike to start. This is the Golden Pass Express. And there is one nostalgic train, one uh, once in a day, yeah, with uh, very old stuff in there, but not this one. This is the regular train. <laughs> right. 
Bastard. He's totally in his element. Come, hi, Ali. The perfect amount of snow for him to run. Hi, Ali. This hike takes about one hour and it's not necessary to have a good hiking condition. Yeah, it's very easy. By the way, this hike is called the Panorama Hike. Yeah, so you can easily find it, okay? And did you know that Robbie Williams, yeah, sometimes live here in one of those chalets? I don't know exactly which one. <laughs> Otherwise, I would say, hi, Robbie. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, somewhere in Gstaad. Here, Rasta is on the leash, of course. Always when we see some animals around. Ah, clever. <laughs> By the way, Gstaad has a known airport. Yeah. So Kreti and Pleiti can fly to Gstaad. From here you can already see Gstaad. Yeah. Do you recognize something? Ah, happy cows, they can go outside. Hi, Moose. Yeah, you can already see there are some green meadows around because Gstaad is on uh, 1,100 meters above sea level and Schönried, where we stayed at the Venice Hotel, Hermitage is on 1,200 meters above sea level. Yeah, and sometimes when uh, it's just about one or two degrees, you can see the difference. Yeah, we came from winter and we arrived in spring again. Yeah, that's Switzerland in March. So now we will take the train back to Schönried. Yeah, we have a start card from the hotel with which we can uh, travel for free. Yeah, around Gstaad. Super, oder? So this is now Stad, the world of the beauties and celebrities. <laughs> yeah, maybe we see someone famous, huh? Malaga. Maybe you remember this place. Yeah, look. Yeah, I made this video here many, many years ago. Yeah, we waited about two hours <laughs> until we had no, no people on the video. Yeah. And yeah, now we are back again. So now I'm going to ask if we have a, um, a place in the Belle Epoque train. Yeah, at least we can try. There is a train coming, but it's not our train. We want the Belle Epoque, so we wait another half an hour. This must be our train. Yeah, looks old. Must be ours. <laughs>
After the nine minute train journey, we are back in Schönried and start our journey home. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to leave a like. I'm also looking forward to your comments or questions. Thanks a lot for watching and see you next time.